Can we just leave it at that? Yeah, I can if you can. I, I know what you're thinking. Eric's a big star. I've seen the trophies, but he also happens to be a very nice man. I cannot believe this is my sister sitting here talking to me like this. You, you of all people, you who hated jocks. I... The empty headed variety, but Eric's not like that. You know, we went back to his apartment last night. Would you believe he plays the piano? I'm beginning to think there's nothing this guy can't do. Well, there's more to him than meets the eye. Mm -hmm. It's a pleasant surprise. Pleasant. Pleasant seems tame. Sounds to me like you're head over heels. We had a nice time, okay? Yeah. It wasn't a fling. Well, I'm sure it wasn't for you. Eric told me he cares for me. Uh -huh, yeah, I'm sure he does. You gave him everything he wanted. What? No, I, shut up. Now, I, I think it's a long stretch between that and what I think that you're looking for. All right, uh, let me explain it this way. You may, be, you may be the oldest one in the family, but your little brother here has been around a lot more than you have, all right? I'm only saying all this stuff because I love you, I care for you, and I don't want to see you get hurt. Eric Royal is a superstar sports celebrity whose other career is tackling women. He's slick, baby. He's got the act down. Women, women are all over him all the time. I know that. And I've promised myself that I won't be just another notch in his belt. But have you ever thought that this might be different, that maybe he really does care? All right, well, I'm, I'm not saying it's not possible. You're a great lady. I just don't want you to jump into this before you know where you really stand with him. That's all. In any case, I refuse to be insecure. We had a great time last night. And at this point, that's enough. Okay. As long as you believe that. Trust me. I know when not to expect too much. You trust me. Yeah, that's my sister, the level-headed one in the family. All right. Look, I gotta go. Ah, uh, uh, Chantal, uh, one more thing. Uh, how was it? Adam, uh, not that it's any of your business, but it was good. Sam? Adam, have you seen my father? No, Seth. What's wrong, Sam? You're shaking. Look, I've got to find my father. I'll tell Chantal to call you as soon as she gets back. Of course. Goodbye. Any luck? Well, we found my foot locker, but I couldn't locate what I was looking for. Oh, I'm sorry. If you don't mind, I'd like to come back and take another look. I told him it was fine with me. Well, of course, any time. Hi. Hi, honey. Don't you love it? They were selling it at that great place on Sheridan Road. <laughs> oh, no. Well, what can I say? Like father, like daughter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't accuse this family of not having the Christmas spirit. Uh, Chantal, you haven't met Peter Whitmore yet. No, I haven't, but I do remember you. You came here looking for Rebecca. That's right. Hi. Well, it's nice to meet you officially. You too. I'm afraid this time I'm the one who has to be running off. Uh, Henry, thank you again. Well, come back anytime you'd like to look. Okay. I'll see you out. Bye, Peter. Goodbye. So, that was a famous Peter Whitmore. It's much different from what I pictured. What is he doing here? He's going to the attic. Apparently, he's looking for something. I'll bet there's a story there. Yeah, I think I'd better get one of these wreaths put up. Maybe we can get the other one to Adam, huh? Oh, good idea. Peter Whitmore seems like an intriguing man. You know, honey, you had uh, several phone calls. Uh, Brian Price has called three times. I guess he's very anxious to talk to you. Who else? Uh, well, Philip Webb, just a few minutes ago, he wants to set up a lunch meeting. Uh, was there anyone else? No, sweetie. Eric didn't call. Sam, you want to tell me what's going on? What, what's wrong? Huh? Listen, I found out what I never wanted to about Jordan. Kyle. 
Kyle was right about. All right, uh, what are you gonna do? Look, I can handle it. I... Oh yeah? Then why are you shaking so bad, Sam? Look, I just have to find my father. I have to talk to him. What is your What does your dad have to do with all this? I thought you never wanted to speak to your Adam, dad. Adam, would you stop quizzing me? Okay, I just can't tell you everything right now. You're gonna have to wait. Okay. <sighs> <laughs> I can't believe it. Except it sounds exactly like something Monique would do. Darling, hi. Remind me to tell you a very funny story later. I was looking for you. What are you doing down here? I, um, I came to see if the beauty salon could fit me in. I rescheduled my meetings for this afternoon so I get my hair and nails done. After all, I'm not just representing the hotel now. I'm actually Mrs. Jordan Hale, aren't I? Look, I gotta run. I'll see you upstairs later. Isn't she wonderful? I'm so proud of the way she's taking over things. Excuse me, Anna. I gotta go back to my office. What is it? Look, I've got to ask you something, and it's very important. Is anyone looking for you? It, is there anyone out there that would want to kill you?